Hello, everyone. I'm Chris. Hello. Thank you for joining, joining me is Anastasia Lisby. And that's her, Anastasia Lisby. And today we're teaming up, as you can tell by the hat and the Club Nintendo shirt, to review Super Mario Odyssey on Nintendo Switch. Woo! Which, yeah, this is pretty good. <laughs> As you can see there on the back, it's got all the stuff on there. Like, the official description on the back is, Bowser's kidnapped Princess Peach and plans to make their wedding... Uh, and uh, plans to make theirs the wedding of the century. Not if Mario can help it. Join him and the new pal Cappy, that's this guy, on an, an epic journey through the mysterious ruins and neon-lit city skyscraper, forest full of machines, and other thrilling and exotic locations. Super Mario Odyssey. Woo! But yeah, I, I like this game. I really do like this game. I like it a whole lot. I like it a lot. It takes a lot of stuff from like other games and stuff. Um, like you can see how like where things come from, and it's just really fun and solid. It is, and I like the fact that each world has its own personality. Some are bigger than others, but I'm happy by that because it would be yeah, weird I mean, it if gives, they're all the exact right. same size. It's all the exact same size, it just, just feels the same. <laughs> the only thing I'd wish is they all had um, at least like 100 coins. Because I feel like on the 100 coin ones, you have more options for the shops. Where versus the ones that have like less than 100, there's um, like all the options in the shops are um, like, you have the costume you need to get the, um, uh, the uh, not sprite, the moon if you want it. And then you have the two accessories um, for the place and the sticker, which I love to get the accessories of the sticker, but often, unless I get 100% of the coins, I can't get it, like all the things in there. Uh, but other ones have other optional costumes in there too. So I like, I don't know. It's not like a critic, that's totally fine, whatever. But um, I like the um, ones that have multiple costumes, so I don't have to like, um, like, I can get one costume, but I don't have to get the other one, you know? I like the option. Yeah. And, yeah, like I said, I like, I like the visiting at the different places and stuff. I love the fact that first I saw the stickers and I saw the, like, prop. And I'm like, I don't even know what the hell they do. I'm like, I'm just going to leave them. Then I bought one. I'm like, oh, my God, it appears on board the Odyssey, which is his little, like, hot air yeah. balloon thing he sells. And I'm like, oh, that's so cool. I have, to buy, I have to buy more. And I bought more. And I put like mm -hmm. ornaments and stuff in the back. I've even gone back to world to buy more. And I'm like, oh, that's so cool. Yeah. I don't know where the stickers go. I assume it's the little book that's in there, but I haven't zoomed. I can't zoom in. Oh, the stickers um go on the outside of the ship. Oh, okay. I hadn't noticed that. I've bought a few of them. I just don't know where they go. Well, there's only one that goes in the front so far, or two now, but um almost all all of them are in the back, so I can understand why you wouldn't see it. <laughs> That is really tight. And yeah, the the main purpose of the game, obviously, you get Cappy and you throw him on stuff and it lands on him and it possesses him. That's the new power. That's basically how they've done they power. Use the word possess. They want to use the word capture. <laughs> they've tweeted so, yeah, about that a whole bunch of times. So yeah, you possess the shit out of them. <laughs> 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 but yeah, you're basically forcing yourself upon them. No, you're basically <laughs> possessing them. By doing stuff like you throw a cap and it lands on a T-Rex and then you become the T-Rex. Or you throw on a Goomba and you become yeah. a Goomba. And each one has unique abilities and accessories. Like the Caterpillar can make you go and stretch across great gaps. There's another thing which I don't know why it does, but it goes... I don't know what it's called, I mean. But it, it's an onion thing. Where it goes on stilts and comes back down. Yeah. Like, oh, that's cool. There's a bullet bill. There's these squids in the seaside level that go up. They squirt got water. Jetpack and they squirt water behind them. I'm like, oh, that's cool. But the water can also put out lava, which makes it way more dynamic than it's been in the past. Yeah. It's a whole bunch of different um, powers and abilities. It's like a very wide range. Uh, yep. And you even have to solve, obviously, you have to solve the area by doing them. Like, one of them, you have to possess this weird fat polar bear guy snow guy and he's like i'm not gonna race i wish someone could do it for me so mario's like okay brainwash and just walks as i'm him on that part then, literally you, exactly now and then you have to roll around which the hardest part when you're going around that at first is to not is to is when you don't realize you have to keep pressing b 
Yeah. If you keep pressing B, you go boing, 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 and then it's easy as fuck. First time round, I was going, I was just going dead slow. Round, I'm like, oh, why does, why do I keep losing? Why do I keep coming second or third? And I'm like, oh, okay. I noticed they're bouncing more. Maybe I should do that, and I did, and it worked. Yeah. What's been your favorite world so far? Um, probably the first one. The sand one, just because I think that's the biggest I've encountered so far. And there's just so much to do and explore and so much money for everything. Oh, God, I think I nearly 100% of that one. Um, I say nearly because it's probably like 97 or some shit. But, like, um, I don't know. That one was my probably my favorite so far because, like, I just love how friggin' big it was and amazing. And there was so much. I think it's probably because the desert and it's empty, you know? Oh, and, you like, said that that's it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sam's World, or whatever it's called. Yeah, so I really like that one. I also really like the city, obviously. That one was super fun. I like it, love at the end they do the um, Donkey Kong level. <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing. <laughs> I love the... Oh, what's it? I, I love Donk City, or whatever it's called, where Pauline's New the Donk man. City. Yeah, Pauline's the man. you got the throwback where you're doing, like, jumping over the barrels, which is a reference. Mm-hmm. As you're going through, there's loads of little references throughout, and you're like, oh, it's so cool, it's a classic stuff, while being really new. I, the city's one of the ones I loved the most, because it started all dark and gritty, suddenly it goes bright and cheerful, and you get a scooter, and you can possess tanks, like, what was it Pew called it? Mind Link? Uh, Segway, or... No, what do you call it when he throws the cap? What did you say they said to call it instead of possessing? Sure. Well, that's what Nintendo tweeted about a bunch of times. They said to call it capturing, not possessing. Oh, okay. Capturing. Okay. You capture him the same way the devil captured the girl in The Exorcist. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you get to walk around as like a, like you have to be a tank and just blast stuff. I love it if you're a goomba and you jump on another goomba and then another goomba and another goomba. You can keep making a little stack that goes higher. And it's I some places that. it seems to serve no purpose, but it's just really fun. Or some places it does serve purposes because it's to reach stuff. In other areas, I hadn't seen a purpose. But I'm like, oh, okay, how big can my goomba go? Ba-dung, 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 ba-dung. I- I like the ones where you make the Goomba fall in love with the other Goomba for a moon, but she only likes really tall people. Yeah. <laughs> that was funny. I also love the, like, there's, if you go around, there's, like, little rockets on top of places, and if you get mm-hmm. them and they send you up, you go into, like, a bonus wor- world. And I love mm-hmm. the fact one of the, one of them, you get to possess a flying Goomba and go around the thing for collecting bits. That was so awesome. I loved being a flying Goomba. Yeah, I loved. Uh, I loved. I had I, the boss um, fights with Mar- with Bowser, where where you got. I think it's. I think it's obviously the first one with Bowser because they haven't done all of them, but the first one with Bowser where you knock off a hat and then you put it on and it gets boxing gloves. And you go to Bowser and you're like boom, boom, boom. Oh, boom, that's boom, awesome! Boom, 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 boom. And you're like, oh my god, that's, like that. that's so much satisfying than sneaking under him and just pulling off an axe so he falls into lava. This is so much more satisfying. (laughs) At least I'm doing it. It is, it really is. His own ineptitude. Yeah. Like, who built a bridge across lava with one easily placed thing when you pull it up that collapses the whole bridge? Mm -hmm. That's a health and safety nightmare, I tell you. (laughs) I don't think Penrose's castle built to code. One of the ones I really liked was that um you could go through the walls and do like the 2D uh, Mario like you know 8 bit style and go through there. <laughs> I've gotten a few shine sprites that way. Hey, yep. And I'm trying to find it now. There was something I I wanted to mention something. I'm just checking my notes because I made a couple of notes of stuff I wanted to check. One of them was what oh, what the hell are they called now? There's a new breed of enemy in this which are kind of cool. I assume, obviously, people know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about the Broodlers. Broodles, or whatever they're called. The Broodles. Yeah. They're basically evil rabbits that serve the same purpose as the Koopalings. I like the I like the I like the broodlings and there's different ways to defeat them too and then you have yeah. second or third bosses where they get difficulter and difficulter. Like one of them you have to knock the hat off it and it goes yeah. 
and starts to like throw his hat off you at you like odd job style and you have to jump when you have to hit his hat mm-hmm. with your hat turn it upside down jump on his hat and knock jump onto him before he get wakes up or, or like there's nothing worse than right you're about to land on him when he goes and just looks up you're like oh this yeah. is not gonna end well dung down the hit you're like, oh come on <laughs> yeah I like possessing like a bullet bill, so like capturing bullet bills and going through and just going <laughs> all around. It's weird. There's Basically, no Yo- anything. It's weird. There's no Yoshi's. But the way I figured it, and at least this might be just me, if you look at the official Mario timeline, it's going to branch at this point, like Civil War did with Marvel. Oh god. And, and this is like Civil War. But at the same time, Yoshi's off having his own adventure in the upcoming Yoshi game, and that's why he's not in this one. It's the only logical explanation. Uh, I was going to say, because Yoshi's kind of like a power-up, and this is like, um... Mm-hmm. Like, the hat is, like, does all the power-ups. Yeah, but you think, you like, why didn't you throw your cap onto a Yoshi, and, and you get to swallow stuff? Like, oh, oh my god, the first time I picked one of those clouds was fun, too, when I would go, can I possess him? Or can I capture mm-hmm. him? I said to kind of possess him through a cap. I capture the cloud that goes and blows those annoying spikes off the ledge right into the oh, water. That was super satisfying. I'm like, yes. Then I figured out you can move one of them. I'm like, oh, you can move him. I went around collecting the collectibles and stuff. Because I like yeah. the fact some people would say, oh, there's different, there's so many different types of collectibles in this game. There's two, three if you include coins. There's coins, other coins, and moons. That's really it. Yeah. Because the moons, they're different colors in the different worlds, but they still serve the same purposes. The other coins, mm-hmm. they're different shapes and different locations, but there's the same thing of an extra but coin to buy exclusive stuff. Yeah. yeah. That's fun. Yes. And I, I do like that when you get those extra stuff to do and all that stuff. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. I haven't completed the game yet. And I know some people out there don't like the ending. I've heard what the ending is, I don't mind it, but I'm not going to really I go haven't heard away on that. I mean, as long as the ending is that um, uh, Peach marries uh, Bowser, like anything else other than that, I'm pretty much okay with. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll just give a spoiler. The mm-hmm. ending, apparently, is Peach, as these things about, as everyone's about to die, jumps on Mario to get onto the ship and escape, and leaves him to die with Bowser because she chooses neither Bowser nor Mario. She chooses herself. And I'm like, that's common and also expected. And I'm like, yeah, okay, it's not that big a deal. It's just there for a little bit of lulled. But pe- a lot of people got up in arms because a, they think Mario belongs with Peach, which he kind of does. I mean, come on, he's been saving her ass for like twenty odd years. The least she can do is give him a bit of it. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough but it's a case of, and it's a case of to be fair that there's no problem with those two being together at this point but the problem arises from the fact that if mario ever got with peach you'd be prince mario he's never prince mario therefore yeah. therefore like, eh. and i don't mind what they saw when they said like she gets off and goes on her own I'm like eh, it's fine it's funny you, no one buys a Mario. No one buys a Mario game for its deep story. <laughs> you, you essentially want this game to do like like it did, where Peach chooses no one and goes off on her own. So the next game, Bowser can kidnap Peach again, Mario can go save her, and the whole game can go around again. Yeah, pretty much. We we buy them for the gameplay. Now, I will admit there's some creatures in the game which I don't like. That I can't. Pos- I don't like not possessing. Yeah. Like, have you been to you've been to the water levels? Yes. Like, like the mermaid one and stuff like that. Mhm. There's like this walking leaf thing. Seaweed. Yeah, it's yeah. fucking annoying. I threw a cap on it, just kills it instantly. I was like, oh, I wanted to possess it. I wanted to be a walking seaweed. It has no purpose, but I want to be one. <laughs> and I love the fact the way the the way the cap captures them, or the way Cappy captures them, is he lands on their head and, and takes over them. Cool. However, some enemies wear hats. Thus, he can't land on their head straight away. You have to knock off their hat and then do it. I'm like, oh, that's cool. 
And some bosses, yeah. like, you do stuff like you throw it and you land on his fist and then you control his fist to punch you in the face. Or you control her chain chomp because you can control chain chomps. And you pull it yeah. back and you launch you at it. I'm like, oh, that's so fun. They Like, Cappy's so fun. He's very fun. I really like him. Although part of me kind of wants to um, or wish that like w um, whatever when you throw your cap on something, it's the Mario hat. Like when you possess him, I kind of wish whatever hat you currently had stayed stayed on there. You know. I, I could see that because yeah, I've had that before now. Where I'm wearing a completely different thing, I throw it into the Mario cap. I'm like, no. Or if anything, he should yeah. be his white original cap. Then it wouldn't be as jarring because the Mario caps yeah. the skies, so make him his regular white cap. Yeah. And in case you're wondering how Something. this came to be, in the opening credits, Mario basically loses his hat, it gets chopped by a fan. So the logical step for getting a new hat is to have a ghost take part of it and become the hat. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Like, literally, right now I'm wearing ghost undies. Does the hat have hat currency? What? The hat world, because uh, cause the hat world, um, I saw oh, yes. it like that it shows the amount of coins you have per, um, yes. like, coin-specific region. So the hat does have hat coins, I just haven't found them. I keep saying yes. When you go back there, there is some, like, there's ones where you, where you have to possess a frog and jump across onto the hat that are in the fog, and then you'll find some, and... There's stuff like that when you... Okay. I think there's hat currencies. Or at least I think there is. There should be, yeah, because I think I think I've picked some up. I haven't. I don't think I've used them in a shop yet. But I have found them because I don't... Oh, what the hell are you doing? There you go. But yeah, um, because I saw it said zero, 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 so that... <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> but, um, I yes, yeah, so I saw it said zero, 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 so I'm like, well, that must mean that there has to be some hat currency somewhere. I just haven't found any. Yeah, and I loved like the f like the first time for me. I don't know if it's the same for Pew, but every time I throw my hat on something for the first time, I'm like, oh, that's so cool. Every yes. time. Yes, yes, I do. Something useless. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Like the first time I got to become a Goomba, I was so happy because I loved the Goombas, and I threw one on. I'm like, oh, a Goomba. Yeah. You now I'm two Goombas. Now I'm three Goombas. <laughs> now, if if Nintendo's clever, like they did for other characters like green mario they should re-release this game as super goomba odyssey and let you play as mm -hmm. goomba throughout and have like a mario you can possess yeah <laughs> it's like capture but yeah <laughs> super goomba odyssey i'd buy it <laughs> i haven't played two player yet yeah what is two player like i'm gonna repeat the sentence i haven't played two player yet <laughs> I don't know if you've seen stuff on it or heard something or. No, I hadn't. But I was curious if you'd be Luigi, but I don't think you will. I assume what will happen is one controls Cappy and one controls Mario. Oh, that's interesting. Or something, I don't know. I'm going to look at the back of the box if it shows you. Yes. Split duties, and it shows you there. One of you controls Mario, one mm -hmm. controls Cappy. It's like so I mean, Mario, the hat could just it's like Mario around. Galaxy. Yeah, like whoever's controlling the hat can then keep making them attack stuff yeah. while you're doing stuff. Essentially like Mario Galaxy, where one got to control the thing that pointed at the stars and stuff, and the other one just got to keep playing as mm -hmm. Mario. Which is fine. That's fine. But I will say that's a step backwards from 3D World and stuff like that, because it's more fun where, where people get to play as a Mario or a green Mario. <laughs> and you love me green Mario. You love me calling Luigi Green Mario. What's his name? Green Mario. It's the elusive Green Mario. And look on the back, right there. Play. Let me move it down a bit. Right there, Goomba. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And as you can see there, when you possess them, they do put on the cap and they get a mustache. Yeah. Which is funny, but it's so funny possessing a Goomba. I don't know why. It is it's great. Funny. But yeah, like you can possess a bullet bill and they are timed. They do explode after a certain point. And there's different mm -hmm. puzzles to collect and different stuff. And there's even an enemy, which, there's even an well, enemy, a character, which is like an Easter Island head in Sandworld. And when you possess him, 
you get to make a cool pun and press Y so he puts his shades on. <laughs> I assume that's not why it's there. No, you put the shades on, you get to see hidden areas, and he can't always walk there, so you have to put them on. Memorize the hell out of it, and then try and navigate it as Mario, which is cool. Mm-hmm. I mean, you could just move him with the glasses off. And yep. Or then, yep. then memorize it. A big difference this year is the fact we don't have lives or this Mario. We don't have lives instead you just lose a tiny bit of coins, which doesn't matter because even on the areas where you're stuck and you keep going through it over and over again, eventually when you get past it, you earn so many coins that you don't need them. And it, 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 you're always going to be thousands of, uh, like a thousands or hundreds of coins ahead of however bad you are. Yeah, like, and um, coins repeat themselves, so, like, if you're just in an area and you die, literally all the coins you just collected for that entire world respawn, which would drive me crazy, because I kept thinking they were new ones for the long time, it took me up to the water world to realize they respawned, and I'm like, why are the coins still appearing, there's not this many. <laughs> yep. Oh, it's also worth noting, you can't possess every enemy. Not every enemy. There's been some that catch your hat, and then they throw it back at you as a weapon, so you're like, oh, and you have to use them to try and get them to hit a block by standing it on top or behind it or whatever. So it or they eat your hat. And blows up the hat. Or, yeah, the plants will eat your hats and you can stomp on him and kill him. Mm-hmm. I want it to be a plant. <laughs> that would have been cool to go... <laughs> <laughs> I like the I like the piranha plants, but yeah. It's, a, it's also unfortunate that so far in the game there's only been one T-Rex and it serves almost no purpose. Yeah. Because I feel I could have been a, I could have been a chain chomp and got through the same area. Yeah. But... I actually did get through the area with a chain chomp, so it literally served no purpose. I went back and um was there because I totally missed the dinosaur. Oh, I didn't. I saw the cliff and I was like, okay, I'm just exploring to get stuff on the, as much as I can on the way. So I'm like, hey, I'll look up there. And yeah, yes, and then I had to go back world, in. Each world, when they tell you to get, like, say, like, they say get five moons, there's probably, like, 15, 20 on that world, so yeah. there's a load of optional moons for you to get, which are cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's also, which, I don't know if, I, some people may go negative, because ki- some people view Mario just as a kid's game, but it's for everyone. There's also a gambling thing to get moons. Okay, now it's cool. Where you you do it and it goes and cycles through. And what you have to do is wait till the heart is heart appears and throw your cap because it takes a couple like a split second delay, and then it'll hit the next item, which is the moon. And I you found that really one, easy. And you do the next one, yeah. It's really easy. You just go dun, go dun, and you just time it for the heart, and then you get a free yeah. moon out of it. But I'm like, oh, cool, gambling, hey, <laughs> winner. <laughs> yep. I couldn't possess a taxi, which is unfortunate. I know, I tried that too. I thought I was the only one. <laughs> I wanted to drive around and run all the people in suits over. You can, you can even possess power lines to become like an electric ball, Mario. Yeah. To get to do stuff like you press, a, uh, I think it's Y, and, you go, and he goes... <laughs> I say Y because it's worth noting, you can play this handheld mode. You can play this with the Joy-Cons off on TV, which is how it's recommended. I play it with the Pro Controller. I play it uh, um, pretty much just like, you know, like that, with handheld mode. So, yeah, the reason that I know some people don't like handheld mode is some moves are tied to motion. Yeah. And so you're moving doing, the whole doing, screen. Doing that with your screen or that or something is, is yeah. annoying for some people. You can do it with the Pro Controller. The only one I haven't been able to do with the Pro Controller yet is the downwards one that you can do with the two Joy-Cons. Where you go down like that instead of up. Up makes you go and throw your cap up. If you do it down, he sends it across the across the ground sideways. It's like like a death ball. I'm like, oh, that's cool. That's cool. But it's like kind of fact- annoying that when I was. Um... Oh, go ahead. I was gonna say I like the fact it has the options for the controls, and it's not unplayable in handheld mode. And you can turn motion off, and you only lose like four moves. I don't think you need those 100% to 100% You don't need the game. them. Yeah. The only one you need is the spin to get all the moons. Yeah. But you can do that by just rotating the right stick on the pro on the pro pad anyway. I don't know if it's the same on the other ones. But if you just rotate the stick after a certain point, it goes... And just actually just does it for you. 
Yeah. The only thing I found like slightly annoying is that um when I was in handheld mode, it gives me the how to do the controls when I'm not in handheld mode. It get, or the at least instructional videos always showed it in not handheld mode. It it does that. Like it did that for mine where it told you how to do on the the only thing it does right is it tells you the buttons and stuff more yeah. accurate. But the it buttons. still shows you the it still shows you yeah. that. Like the because it wants you to play with the two d- d- joy cans on the TV, so you're playing like that. Which, yeah. yeah that's fine. I can appreciate that. Yeah. Like apparently with the motions when you're doing the boxing when you would have actually had to have done that to punch yeah. you. But I'm like, nah, I'll just press one button and punch you the cow out of him. <laughs> Punch, 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 punch. I love that. Like I said, so much more satisfying than most ways you defeat Bowser. Yeah. And yeah, I like the fact each world I've been in so far have filled with different references, and it's more dynamic than a lot of Mario games. Mm-hmm. Like the snow world, the cold doesn't bother me anyway. No, <laughs> the, the snow world, there's like dynamic snow where you can throw your cap and it actually makes a path through the snow so you can see what's there. Yeah. The, like I said, on the beach one, there's lava to put out with squid people's water power. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I, I like this game. It's super fun. I really like it. And the soundtrack's cool. And also, the part Pew mentioned earlier, which I mentioned as well, of the part where you get on New Donk City where you're jumping over the barrels. Like, actually, I don't know what I can do. Instead of just describing it, I shall go to Twitter. Do-do-do. In case people are wondering why is he going to Twitter, I literally posted that level on Twitter. So you can also hear the music, and hopefully that doesn't get me copyright drunk. But... Can you hear the music? Yep. I like that. That was funny when she says, one up boy, one up girl, da 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 Like, that was funny. It's like a full song. Yeah, and as you can see that, look. Donk, yeah. donk, 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 and Donkey Kong Dad. Yeah. And then it swaps back to there, which, that's the suit I was wearing in this in that world, but, yeah. Uh, profile media because i i'm only showing you know my stuff yeah that's weird you know the media mm-hmm. some of my ma- it doesn't have my pictures i've posted recently it only has like fifa shown oh i was looking for the pictures because i posted a lot of mario pictures yeah yes i thought i had i thought i posted more than i have it's hard to find them all but No, that's the, that's a different game. There's the caterpillar. Oh, there's the suit you can see. Mario. Woo! And if I do that, uh, Mario. <laughs> and suit Mario on a scooter. <laughs> and caterpillar Mario. <laughs> he stretches. Which is super handy to go on stuff. And this one comes from Anastasia. There's her playing as the T Rex. I just liked it because the T Rex looked like he was smiling. <laughs> Gosh, he's a happy T he's happy to be captured. <laughs> yeah, it's weird as hell, you know when I go to like I said when I go to media. Mm-hmm. Doesn't show my damn Mario tweets on the media on Twitter, but on my actual pictures, they're there. That's weird. Along with stuff like watching Dragon Ball Super. Mm-hmm. Spoilers, I watch that now. So I guess how did you like? So I guess how did you like <gasps> this overall? <laughs> Wait for it. Get him, 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 get him
I like, I like, like, so, uh, uh, but yeah, rating the game. Uh, I'll let you go first if you want to rate the game. Oh uh, yeah, I'd give it like a solid uh, like nine point five. I'd say like they really like um you know took their time with this and had so much diverse stuff and it's like almost damn near perfect. Mm, yep. And I'll I'll say this game's great. I. It'll, you're you're gonna hear see a debate on the internet right now at the, at the moment with Nintendo fans on which one's better, Breath of the Wild or this. It's this because this still yeah. feels, this still feels like a Mario game. Breath of the Wild doesn't feel like a Zelda game at all. It feels incomplete at best. And, and I'm like yeah, a crazy Zelda fan. But personally, I I prefer this one. You may differ, disagree, but uh, I'm I'll I'll give this game a solid go out and buy it thumbs up because yeah it's just it's just all around a great fun game it's a great experience it's fun it's what mario should be and yeah at the same time they've upgraded it and made it all new and stuff like everything's mm -hmm. new like he's had a frog costume in mario 3 where he could bounce around and stuff it's still new mm -hmm. he's had stuff to help him go underwater before yep throwing a cap on a fish and swimming through is fun it is very fun and so yeah, I recommend buying it. They've basically turned something old into something that feels fresh and new, while still seeming like it's the same stuff. So the, so the fans aren't like, oh, this is too different. So yeah. Yeah. I, I recommend people go on buy it. I was your host for this one. It's Chris super fun. Now. Joining me was Anastasia Lisby. Hi. There you go. That's her. Um. Yeah, we'll see you next time on either the Gaming Zone or Paz of the Mind for very tough reviews. Ooh! Peace. Like, coming up soon this month, like, next week, I think, is Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic. Yeah! Uh, peace.